What is up all you Pokemon lovers out there? So, Cell of Miracle comes out this Friday. So for all of us that pre-ordered the set, you know, we'll probably get it like Monday or Wednesday or whatever, but that's not the topic at hand. I wanted to make a quick video, a quick before you buy slash what I'm excited for about the set. I've been making community posts all week talking about how excited I am for this set. And I just wanted to maybe shine some light on some cards that you weren't really expecting to be in this set for you English collectors. I know that a lot of you guys aren't on Poke Beach 24 seven and are not on Instagram, constantly checking Pokemon content. So, so with that all being said, let's get into today's video. So this might be my favorite set to date. If you're a longtime supporter of the channel, you guys know that I love Mask of and Crimson Haze. I think those two sets were amazing. And in English, I think Paldea was my favorite set. The Raichu and the Trinitar. Those are a top five favorite Pokemon for me. And the Iono card is just top tier. So I wanted to read off to you guys from Poke Beach what is in the set. So for starters, Stellar Miracle has 33 secret rares. In this Japan set, huge set. 12 illustration rares, eight full art Pokemon EXs, Full, uh, four full art trainers and four special illustration rare Pokemon, two special illustration rare trainers, and three gold cards that we all can agree on. We all hate. Nobody is stoked about the gold cards. Let's let's just say that this set is absolutely stacked. There is so many great Pokemon. Great Pokemon from X Y era. There's great. Uh, modern Pokemon, there's great uh, earlier Pokemon in this set. But this set, for me, I, they hit it out of the park. They can't go wrong with the Pokemon that they picked. There's so many random Pokemon like Metatite and uh, 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 Garvantula, uh, Joltix Evolution that's thrown on here. So many amazing cards. But if you guys know me, you guys know that I am in love with the Full Art Trainers. The Full Art Trainers are plentiful in this set. And I think we all can speculate that the Lacy card is going to be probably the biggest chase card in this set. I just love cards that just look like a scene from the games or from the anime and just, this card just knocks it out of the park. A change in this set is the terrestrialized uh, crystal um, rainbow borders, which I think look amazing for this set. I think it's a great change in Pokemon. We finally see the possibilities of a terrestrialized uh, border and just terrestrialized Pokemon in general. Like I said, the Garvantula terrestrialized form of it is in this set and it looks amazing with the uh, crystallized borders, the rainbow borders. I think they knocked this card out of the park. Obviously the Terrapagos card has that same borders and both of these cards just are probably going to be a lot of people's chase cards, I think. I don't really know how well loved they are in the Pokemon community, so uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you're a giant fan of these two. I don't really know too much about Terrapagos because I didn't play the DLC. It's been so long since I played Scarlet and Violet, I can't even remember if I defeated the Elite Four, so maybe I should double check and go play that game again. So for all you English collectors, I believe that the Terrapagos card that you're able to chase in Seller Miracle will be in the UPC for this set in English, which I I really don't like when English does this. They give you some of the biggest cards in the set. And I think it takes away so much from the set in general. I don't know how you guys feel, but I want to chase these cards. And if you guys are longtime fans of this channel, you know that when I started, I was primarily in English and now I've switched pretty much to only Japanese and I don't really know if I'm ever gonna go back because English just is so expensive and, they, and they're also just taking out some of these cards that make me not want to buy or invest into any of these sets because the big chase cards are just not there. For example, the uh, Loyal 3 were not in this past set where as in Japanese, the Loyal 3 were in Mask of Change and it made Mask of Change that much better because you're chasing those top three cards of the set, the mascots of this set. So I think English has a little bit of, of a problem for me. Maybe it doesn't bother some of you guys, but uh, for me, when it comes to me buying this set over and over and over again is because it has to have those the big chase cards. But when you give them to me, 
as promos. I don't care if they're sparkly or have a new stamp. It doesn't really add brownie points for me because I'm a collector first and I just want to collect the art. And I know a lot of you guys feel the same way when I say that the Japanese cards definitely are more saturated, highly saturated. The colors just pop out a little bit more and we all know that the quality is way better compared to English. So now that all the leaks are out, all the cards, all the big cards are officially in front of our face. And I love how this set has given so many Pokemon that not really forgettable, but they don't really get the big spotlight. And I think that it is time. It's time that we've seen a lot of these Pokemon like the Garvantula get these big cards for us to chase and, and appreciate. I know there's a lot of Joltik fans out there. There's a lot of Duraludon fans out there that are getting their evolutions in a cool SIR form or AR form. You guys know that I've been telling you that my favorite card from this set is the Rabu card and pretty much nothing's changed. The uh, Arculodon uh, SI, or I don't know if it's S AR is amazing. It's such a beautiful scene. I'm a big Duraludon fan. It's just, a, I, it's one of my favorite dragon Pokemon. I know he's like a big bridge and I know a lot of people don't really get it. Neither do I, but He's just one of my favorite Pokemon. And this is a great scene. Uh, it battles with the Raboot for me personally. And for the full out card that I'm really excited to pull is the Metacham because it's red and it just pops. There's sometimes where uh, the full art forms just look so cool. And this is one of these cards. And I'm usually not a fan of the Pokemon and the background being the same color, but just the pose that the Metacham's in, I think they absolutely crushed it. And then a sleeper card that I'm really excited for is the Metatite just sitting on the tree. You know, such a peaceful background, peaceful scene. And he's kind of just, just meditating, you know, just enjoying his scenery. Kind of maybe makes me think maybe he got into a battle and he's there reflecting on his actions. It's such an awesome card. And like I said, they knocked out of the park with all these, I would say maybe B, to C tier Pokemon. They're not really crazy fan favorites, but I think they are still uh, favorites nonetheless. So my position on this set, I'll be buying four booster boxes to hopefully pull that Lacey card or any of the other full art trainers. I think this is a set that's gonna be so much fun to open. And I hope that you guys enjoy me opening this set for the channel because there's gonna be plenty of those uh, right here. So now I'm going to turn it to you guys. How are you guys feeling about this set? Is it a buy? Is it a pass? I know a lot of you aren't a huge fan of the terrestrialized Pokemon. But let me know your comments and opinions in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys tomorrow with a opening video. And until next time, peace.